Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle actually contains a really diverse and balanced character roster. When it comes to the original game and its DLC, each character does something a little bit different, even though some of the techniques may feel the same. Making a tier list of all the characters is a little challenging considering how balanced this game truly is. But, in the end, we're gonna have to decide anyway. Everyone, welcome to the video. My name is MantraPlays, and this is my Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle character tier list. Let's start off with the party leader, of course, Mario. Mario's movement isn't really good whatsoever. He can only move 7 cells, which is really, really low. But Mario's unique movement ability helps him a lot. His ability is called Stomp Jump. This basically allows him to jump off of an enemy after doing a team jump, and at max upgrades it deals 150 damage, which is actually really good. Mario's dash attack also deals 130 damage, which is also really good. Speaking of damage, this is where Mario shines. His two weapons are Blaster and Melee. Blaster is his primary weapon. It is medium ranged base, but it does deal a pretty good amount of damage. His secondary weapon, Melee, is also really good. It is a very close range weapon, but it deals massive amounts of damage. Mario's techniques are Hero Sight and M Power. Hero Sight is actually really good because it allows you to fire when an opponent is moving. At max upgrades, it gives you 130% damage, and you can use it twice in one turn. M Power is also really good because it strengthens you and your allies' weapons. At max upgrades, it does 70% more damage. Mario's HP is also pretty good. He maxes out at 590 HP. Mario's critical abilities are Honey and Bounce. Honey stops the enemies from moving for a turn, and Bounce launches the enemy far away. Both of these abilities are pretty decent, and they can both save you from a losing situation. Mario's high damage and good techniques definitely puts him high on the tier list, but sadly his movement capabilities drag him down. So I'm gonna put him at B tier. Next up is Rabbit Peach. Rabbit Peach has 8 cells of movement, which is slightly better than Mario's. Her movement ability is Stylish Dash. This allows her to dash into more than one opponent in one turn, and this can be very useful. When fully upgraded, this can be done 4 times, and her dash damage is 100, which is less than Mario's, but it's still pretty good. Her primary weapon is Blaster, which I already talked about, but her secondary weapon is Sentry. This is a vehicle that can move on its own after deployed, and it blows up when an enemy runs into it, or when it reaches its target. Rabbit Peach's first technique is Shield. When fully upgraded, it reduces 80% of weapon damage and 50% of dash damage. Her second ability is Heal, which speaks for itself, but when fully upgraded, it heals 70% HP. Speaking of HP, hers maxed out is 530, which is decent. Her critical abilities are very similar to Mario's. She has Honey and Push. Honey I've already talked about, but Push is pretty much the same as Bounce, except Bounce launches the enemy in the air, and Push rolls the enemy across the ground. Both Bounce and Push are used for knockback purposes. Rabbit Peach is a pretty defensive character, which is the opposite of Mario. Mario is very offensive, but they are both still very average, which means I'm gonna put her in B tier as well. Moving on, Rabbit Luigi is a very technical character in my opinion. He has 8 cells of movement, which is the same as Rabbit Peach. His movement ability in my opinion is one of the best in the entire game. It's called Vamp Dash. Vampire is a critical ability that allows you to take the damage dealt to an enemy and heal yourself with it. This dash attack activates Vamp, and it can be really good for healing, and it can also be done twice. His dash damage is actually the highest in the entire game, dealing 160. His primary weapon is called Borb, but it's pretty much the same thing as the Blaster. His secondary weapon is Rocket. This is a very long range explosion that deals surprisingly low damage but it still has a very wide range of effect. His first technique is Super Barrier. This is a shield kind of like Rabbit Peach's, except it blocks any critical effect from triggering. However, to stop this from being too unbalanced, it does absorb less damage from weapons and dash attacks than Rabbit Peach's shield. His second ability is called Weaken. This speaks for itself. It weakens the enemy's attacks, but it actually does it by a pretty good percent. 70% damage of the enemy is reduced. Rabbit Luigi's HP maxes out at 500, 
which is a little low, but it's still pretty good. Rabid Luigi's primary weapon actually contains four critical abilities. Those are Stone, Vamp, Push, and Burn. Stone is my favorite critical ability in the entire game. It stops the enemy from doing anything for a turn. Vamp is my second favorite in the game, but I've already talked about that one. Burn is similar to Push and Bounce, but it makes your enemy run around all crazy-like. And I've already explained Push. While his primary weapon does contain four critical abilities, his secondary weapon goes back to normal and contains two, and those are Push and Burn. Excluding Donkey Kong, because he's a part of the DLC, I view Rabbit Luigi as the most unique character in the game. And I also think that he's pretty good, so I'm going to put him at A tier. Now on to the green man himself, Luigi. Luigi's movement is absolutely amazing. He maxes out at 9 cells of movement, which is the highest in the entire game, tying with two other characters. His movement ability is Double Jump, which allows him to jump off of two team members to get even better movement. His dash attack is kind of weak though. It maxes out at 90 damage and he can only do it one time. His primary weapon is the Precision. It acts similar to the Blaster, but it has much more range. His secondary weapon is Sentry, which I've already talked about with Rabbit Peach. His first technique is called Steely Stare, which behaves exactly like Mario's Hero Sight, except this time he can do it three times, and it only does 70% more damage. His second technique is called Itchy Feet. This gives your allies more movement. At max upgrades, it boosts your allies' movement by three cells, which can be very useful. The only downside to Luigi is that his HP is the worst in the entire game, by far. He maxes out at 335 HP, which is incredibly low. Finally, his critical abilities are Bounce and Ink. Ink stops the enemies from attacking for a turn, and I've already talked about Bounce. In my opinion, Luigi is a beast. Even though his HP is very low, he usually belongs on the far end of the battle anyways, so he can just snipe you from out of nowhere, and that can be very useful. In my opinion, he belongs in S tier. Now moving on to my favorite character in the game, Rabbit Mario. And I'd say that Rabbit Mario is actually the best character in the entire game. And that's not me being biased, that's just because he is really really good, and fun to play. He is a one man death machine. You can put him on the opposite side of the battle, and he'll still do ridiculous amounts of damage. His movement ability is called Boom Dash. This is an explosive dash attack that can still damage enemies that Rabbit Mario didn't run into. It maxes out at 100 damage, and he can do it up to 3 times. This is a great tool for taking down enemies in groups. His primary weapon is called the Boom Shot. This is a very powerful short-range shotgun that can sadly friendly fire, but it's still very, very useful. His secondary weapon is Melee, which we already talked about with Mario. Rabbit Mario's only downside are his techniques. His shield, which is called Bodyguard, is the weakest shield in the game. It absorbs 100% of dash attack damage, which is amazing, but not a lot of enemies have dash attacks, and it only absorbs 30% weapon damage, which is kinda bad. However, his second ability, Magnet Dance, fits him very well. It draws all enemies in range to Rabbit Mario, which is very useful considering he's a short range master. His health maxes out at 590 HP, which is good, and his movement maxes out at 9 cells, which is really good. Finally, Rabbit Mario's critical abilities are Stone and Vamp, and in my opinion, those are the two best critical abilities in the entire game, so for him to have both of them is extremely good. I already told you I think Rabbit Mario is the best character in the entire game, so for that reason, he obviously belongs in S tier with Luigi. Now moving on to what I consider to be the worst character in the game. Princess Peach is a really solid character, but I don't think she's near the best at all. Let's start off with her movement. She maxes out at 7 cells, which isn't really that good, and her dash attack damage is only 90, and that's pretty bad considering she can only dash attack one time. But her movement ability is actually really impressive. It's called Healing Jump. It is basically a team jump that when she lands, she heals herself and anyone around her. And that is really good considering she can heal every single turn. But to stop this from being incredibly broken, she can only heal up to 20% HP. And that's pretty balanced. Her primary weapon is the Boom Shot. 
which I've already talked about with Rabid Mario. Her secondary weapon is the Grenade Duck. This is pretty useful because it can be thrown over cover to hit an enemy, so if an enemy's hiding behind something, you can still hit them. And it has a pretty wide range of effect, but its damage is pretty low. Peach's first technique is Royal Gaze, which is the same as Mario's Hero Sight and Luigi's Steely Stare, but she can only do it one time per turn. Her second ability is Protection. This allows her to protect her allies pretty well. If an enemy attacks one of her allies that is protected, she absorbs a lot of the damage that the enemy dealt. Peach's health is the highest in the game by far. She maxes out at 755 HP, which is incredible. Finally, her critical abilities are Burn and Freeze. I've already talked about Burn, and I consider that to be the worst ability in the game, and Freeze is just an okay ability. It blocks enemies from doing techniques. Peach has some very high highs and some very low lows, but her lows drag her down a lot, so I'm gonna have to put her in C tier. Next up is Rabbit Yoshi. To start off, his movement maxes out at 9 cells, which is really good. His dash attack ability is Ultra Dash. This is basically the same as Rabbit Peach's, except he's allowed to dash attack 5 times instead of 4. But to balance this out, his dash attack damage is only 90. His primary weapon is Rumble Bang. This acts similar to the blaster, except it's a minigun. It fires multiple shots. His secondary weapon is the Grenade Duck, which I just talked about with Peach. His first ability is a shield called Outer Shell. This is an amazing shield. Even though it doesn't last for the whole turn because it gets destroyed after two hits, it absorbs 100% of both weapon and dash attack damage at max upgrades. While his first technique is amazing, his second technique is kind of mediocre in my opinion. Scaredy Rabbit is the opposite of Rabbit Mario's Magnet Dance. It pushes the enemies away. I don't really see the use of this unless you're trying to push enemies away so you don't get hit by your own attacks. Rabbit Yoshi's health maxes out at 550 HP, which is solid as well. Finally, his critical abilities are Stone and Push. As a whole, I'd say Rabbit Yoshi is another really average character, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Now moving on to the actual Yoshi. Yoshi's movement is 8 cells, which is also really average. And he only has one dash attack, which does 90 damage, just like Peach and Luigi. But his movement ability, Ground Pound Jump, is just like Rabbit Mario's Boom Dash. After performing a team jump, Yoshi's butt is so thick that when he lands, he causes a whole earthquake on the ground which damages enemies pretty well. Yoshi's primary weapon is Rumble Bang, which I just talked about with Rabid Yoshi, and his secondary weapon is Rocket, which I talked about with Rabid Luigi. His first technique is Egg Beater, which, you guessed it, behaves exactly like Peach's Royal Gaze, Luigi's Steely Stare, and Mario's Hero Sight. But when maxed out, it does 150% of the damage, which is awesome. Yoshi's second technique, Super Chance, grants his allies an 100% chance to hit a critical ability on an enemy, which is really good. Yoshi's HP is actually really impressive. It maxes out at 635. Finally, Yoshi's critical abilities are Ink and Freeze, which are both just okay. To wrap the base game's roster up, I'd say that Yoshi is another really average character. He's good in some places and bad in others, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Now on to the Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. Just in case you're curious, there aren't any noticeable changes to Rabbit Peach in this DLC. She's pretty much the same. Starting off with Donkey Kong, I'd say he is the most unique character in the entire game. Considering that he cannot team jump because he's too heavy, he has a lot of other movement options like swinging off of dandelions. His movement is average with 8 cells, but his movement ability is very different. He can grab and throw many things across the battlefield, such as enemies, allies, cover blocks, and more. This can be very useful for assisting other players. His primary weapon is the Banana Rang. This acts similar to the Blaster, except it ricochets off of multiple enemies. His secondary weapon is the DK Ground Pound. This is similar to the Melee, but he slams his own fist against the ground hurting enemies. His first technique is called Hairy Eye. This behaves just like Mario's Hero Sight, Luigi's Steely Stare, and you get the gist at this point. It can only be used one time per turn, but it does hit multiple enemies at once, and it does do 150% damage. His second technique is called Magnet Groove. 
This behaves just like Rabbit Mario's Magnet Dance, except Donkey Kong whips out his bongos and plays a much catchier beat. Donkey Kong's HP maxes out at 350, which may seem very low, but everyone in DK Adventure has lower HP. Donkey Kong actually has the highest HP. Finally, his critical abilities are Bounce and Burn, and they are both pretty meh. Donkey Kong is a very different character of the whole cast, but he is a pretty good one at that, so I'm gonna put him in A tier. Now on to the final character, Rabbit Cranky. His movement is also 8 cells, which is pretty average, and his dash attack only does 40 damage, but his movement ability is really good. It's called Grump Jump. It allows him to shoot enemies from a team jump, and it automatically triggers the critical effect freeze. When fully upgraded, it does 60 damage, which is pretty useful. His primary weapon is the Boom Bow, which acts very similar to Rabbit Mario and Peach's shotgun. His secondary weapon is the Barrel Bolt. This is very similar to Peach and Rabbit Yoshi's Grenade Duck. His first technique is called Stink Eye. And this is basically his Hero Sight slash Steely Stare slash you already know what it is. It does 100% damage and he can do it twice in one turn. His second technique is called Long Story. He basically explains his day in a very slow way and he bores all the enemies to sleep. This pretty much mimics the stone critical ability. His health is relatively low, maxing out at 270 HP, but he can still survive pretty well. Finally, his critical abilities are Vamp and Ink. Ink is okay, but Vamp is really good. Overall, Rabbit Cranky is a pretty good character, so I'll also put him in A tier with Donkey Kong and Rabbit Luigi. So that's it. That's my character tier list for Mario Rabbids. It was pretty hard to differentiate all the characters because they are all really balanced, besides Luigi and Rabbit Mario. But besides them, the rest of the roster is really well managed. Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is a really cool, unique, fun, comedic, and challenging game. This game is an absolute must-have, so go buy it, it's a really fun experience. So anyway, what'd you guys think of this video? Comment down below what your favorite characters in Mario Rabbit's are. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Ah!